My hobby includes a lot of things. Just making things in general that solves a lot of problems in the world. A 12-year-old from Winnetka, Illinois, used up his time during the pandemic to create a ventilator out of Legos. Yes, Legos. I saw a bunch of universities making, like, respirator units that were cheaper and more affordable. Um, I wanted to make my own version with my own twist, which was the Lego piece. I'm able to combine things that I like, such as Legos and helping people. He's always been creative. He's always um, been thinking out of the box. And uh, we noticed in preschool, um, in conferences, teachers would tell us that um, they, you know, they would jokingly call him the doctor. This is this is the controller that can. That's basically the brain of the whole rig. And then these are motors right here and here. They drive these piston shafts that go in and out and squeeze the bag um, with these pushers. And then. This is the respirator lung, which basically shows how much it's pumping air. The Kids Idea Tank is a way for kids to take it to the next level and turn their ideas and you know practice all these entrepreneurship skills like pitching and brainstorming and collaborating with someone. So what was amazing about Anthony the second year was that he took a problem that was going on in the world and he took a talent that he had and he tried to combine them to create a solution. And it just literally when he was pitching to the judges, I was getting texts from the judges with like the emoji with the brain exploding like that they were just so wowed by this but anthony began his invention way before the idea tank contest the idea started rolling as soon as he heard there was a ventilator shortage last summer every time we turned on the news we would hear um you know andrew cuomo and everybody talking about how there just weren't enough ventilators and quietly he listened and he he thought well there's a problem in, in the world, you know, why don't I give it a shot? What I did was I wanted to help that shortage by creating my own ventilator for a cheaper price. Um, it doesn't ventilate a patient fully. Well, it can, but it's not necessarily meant for it. It's meant for patients that need help rest with breathing so that the more expensive units can be saved for those critical patients that can't breathe on their own. A lot of free time can not be helpful sometimes, but if you have an idea, it can really boost you. 